So probably one of the best music players for Linux and one of the more configurable, like modular ones is MPD. So MPD is as it is the music player daemon. Oh, if we go to actually, let's pull up the website. MP. I don't remember where it's at. We will find the website here in two seconds if it pulls up. But basically, MPD is a daemon that runs in the background that basically manages, in a sense, manages your music and the play of said music. So it will, in essence, directly interface with the audio and play your music, and you can use it to scan, oh, stuff. And the default, oh, client for MPD is MPC. And MPC is just your basic command line tool that you can give, like, commands to, and it'll run your stuff. And I believe MPC basically comes with MPD by default, but there are a whole host of other oh, front ends that you can use to control MPD, from ones written in Python, like Lua see what have you there are all kinds of them um probably one of the more popular ones is ncmpcpp and that is a pretty standard bare bones one in fact this if you install sxml on the pine phone and install mpd this is probably one of the better oh np mpd clients that you can use is ncmpcpp um, I had stolen my config for this um, a bit ago, so the documentation for <clears throat> configuring it, I believe, is pretty good. I haven't done it in forever, so I haven't worried about it. But yeah, MPD is basically the best one. You can use whatever front end you have. You can even use like your Android phone to control it on your computer if you're willing to go... To set up the network stuff for it because the network client basically work in a well the server the daemon works in a server client type relationship so you need a client to control the server to send it commands and whatnot and like i said the probably more popular one is ncmpcpp which is written in NCURSES. And I use pretty well, too. Um, I'm, like, not that versed in it, per se, but, like, I know how to use it enough that I can add music to a queue, remove the music from a queue, play the music, shuffle it, tell it to shuffle, and stuff like that. So, yeah. And it's pretty lightweight, so it works pretty well with, like, your other systems, and so what some people may be wondering is, how do you configure MPD? So MPD basically has a config folder in .config, and then it's got its .mpd folder where it holds most of the data. So your music database and stuff will go in the .mpd folder in your home folder. And so it'll manage the current state of MPD, so when you restart your computer, it comes back up in the same state in the background when you start up the daemon. And then it keeps track of like track information. I believe you can get lyrics with it too, I don't recall. But I'm pretty sure you can get cover art if it's available and show that depending on the client you're using. Oh, it does log things and then you do have the FIFO file for like if you want to do like cool things like the visualization stuff in NCMPCPP. You can set that up as well. So the main config hangs out in like your config folder, wherever you have that configured to in MPD. And I haven't changed my MPD config in spite of like doing multiple reinstall, like moving my configs around. I've moved it from different installations and it's worked fine out of the box. So what I've got is I've got my music directory set up and my playlist directory. So I have everything centered in .mpd. 
Oh, you can set it, configure it to be somewhere else, of course. But this is where I have it set up. Oh, the default port is going to be 6600 for, oh, the TCP port it's going to want to use. If that's taken, you can change it. Um, but yeah, you may have to do a couple, oh, a little bit of finagling to get it to work right. But you can kind of mess with all that. And then I, what was it? When I very first set up MPD, I had issues with ALSA, but now like it works pretty well. So I've basically, like I said, taken my config and copied it over between like new installs and everything else. And it even works on my Pine phone just fine. And so with Pipeware and having its ALSA interface, I don't really have to change anything either, too, still. Oh, let's see. There's the FIFO. So if you want to do the FIFO thing, then you can. And yeah, so that's the basic config. Um, this one is a skeleton one that they can't have as an example to explain different things and everything else. It's actually pretty decent at explaining some things. If you need extra help, there's like Google and stuff, of course. But yeah, it's got it nicely sectioned off into different things and it'll explain it. It links you to the documentation and so on. So that's the config for MPD. So it's pretty basic. And so if I go into, and since I have, oh, what is it? I've got royalty free music in, so I, I, I don't feel bad doing this. So that that's the basic one, MPC play and that kind of a thing. Er. So you give it play pause, MPC minus minus help. Oh, come on. So this will bring everything up and show you everything so you can Refresh your MPD database, you can tell it to shuffle and things like that. And what you can see when we just go MPC, it'll give us the status of what, where the song is at and things like that. And you can use that to further do other cool things like parsing it for other front end things or whatever that you want to do otherwise as well with Conky or what have you. You can pull that apart. Um... Actually, if I go into in my scripts folder, I actually did something like that. So where is it? So MPD stream. So this is what basically was my implementation for like music attribution on stream. And so basically what it would do is it would rewrite a text file that OBS referenced in order to write on screen or whatever what the music was playing in the background. And so it would wait 20 seconds to do that every so often. And it worked okay. Um, I think I could do that. I haven't done anything different because I've been using more royalty-free stuff than otherwise. But I think I, I would like change that implementation honestly um, this one you've got mpd notify it basically doesn't notify send on like different things let's see so yeah now playing songs in mpd so it'll notify you when a song changes so whatever you whether you're using dunst or awesome or what have you you can get a cool notification showing you what the music is doing the other thing you can do is this is a basic D menu script that uses MPC to control MPD. So if I go and I actually have this key bound, so to super M, and so it gives you those options. I can, okay, the status doesn't come up. It works with Dunst, but yeah. So I can go and I can tell the shuffle to loop to go to the next I can play so what play does is it actually uses toggle and so toggle is like your play pause but in one command so it'll play and pause the music 
and that kind of a deal. So that's a very basic thing. If you want to use D menu and you don't want to always have to pull up a command line or whatever, you can use D menu as an option as well. And it will, you can also clear out your playlist and update your database as well. So if you add new music in, you can, which I think actually I have. So for some reason, update isn't in here. Where'd it go? Unless that's not the one it's using. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty good at that. Oh, like I mentioned, NCMPCPP is probably the more popular one to use. So this is my config. And like I mentioned, I've basically carried this across like multiple different installations. So yeah, um, you give it your FIFO for your visualization. You decide what oh, visualization you want to use in the color. So I think there is halfway decent documentation. I believe I stole this one and made changes here and there where I wanted to. But you can find a whole bunch of where MPC, NC MPC PP configurations as well. If you go to, I believe it's, yeah. Come on. Oh, I should move that. Let's move that to that one for now. Okay. Okay, so .shared.it has a really good database of like rices that you can go through and like pick and pull what you want. They have a whole section for NCMPCPP and you can see like what different people are doing and actually pull inspiration from other people with what they do with theirs. So you've got a whole bunch of options that you can go with from very minimal to like I'm not changing very much to like all the way out there and like just really all over the place. So I would highly recommend like checking that out to kind of get some ideas and then pull from there. You, So it, it'll let you change like what the selection color highlight will be, whether there's a character or not, what the progress bar looks like and so on. So the thing that you have to kind of like make sure is done importantly is that you have your mpd host and port set up correctly so i'm not sh i think by nc mpc pp the default config looks at 6600 for your port but you might have to change that and localhost is the default host but also make sure that you have it pointed at the correct place where your music library sits so that's kind of the big part. And like I said, it works really well on the Pine phone. So yeah, you can have fun and enjoy that. Um, there are some, depending on the system you use, there can be some quirks. So like the Pine phone has some quirks with SXMO, and that's due to window like stuff. But yeah. Oh, but yeah, if... That was helpful if you were wondering how to get NCMPCPP working with MPD or getting MPD working. I hope you have the resources that you need. Um, like I showed you, my ALSA, um, my setup for the ALSA plug is pretty not extravagant. Oh, but yeah. I want to say that this should also be in my dot files oh, repository. It hasn't changed in quite a while, so it should be there. But yeah, um, check out the links in the description, join the Discord and that kind of thing, and I will see you guys later.